Welcome back. Let's do mission now. Now, though just 20 minutes drive from the northern regional capital, Tamale, water has not run through their taps for seven years. To avoid contracting waterborne diseases, residents of Shanshegu have had to devise their own means of purifying their water through a locally engineered dugout. Shanshegu is 20 minutes drive from the central business district of Tamale. It has more than 400 households with about 15 people in each of them. But access to potable water does not come easy. Four communities depend on this water source. Johani, Zujung and John Shigu also depend on this dugout. So this is the only source of water for the about 5,000 residents of Chanshegu here in the northern region. Without this water, residents would go days without water. The National Disaster Management Organization mounted one reservoir in the 1990s. Action Aid Ghana followed up in 2001 by laying pipelines within the township. UNICEF, under its water coverage in rural communities, also mounted four reservoirs in 2014. Three taps have been positioned at vantage points in the community. Children and women are those bearing the brand. On foot, bicycles and on the backs of donkeys, the young and old make their way from the dugout to their homes. Residents cannot come to terms with having to drink the unwholesome water. We use this water for all our domestic chores, from washing to drinking. Coming here later than 4 a.m. means collecting bad water. Abdul Summit Zakaria serves the unwholesome water to residents at a subsidized rate. I serve those that cannot commute to the dugout. I sell a barrel for five cities for indigents and seven cities for non-indigents. Aluminium sulfate is dropped in the water in the purification process. In homes, I observed the purification process. <laughs> They wait between 20 to 30 minutes for the process. Chief of the Chanshegu community, Yusuf Napare, is equally worried. No communication has gone on between us and the Ghana Water Company on why the taps have not flown for seven years. We even asked if it is an issue of indebtedness, but even that has not been answered. The assemblyman Ibrahim Baba recounts the number of times he has been to the office of the regional water company for answers. We reported the case to the Ghana Water Company to come to our aid and see what is actually a problem causing us a water shortage in this country. Up to date, I'm calling them, they are not picking my the public relations officer of the Northern Region Office of the Ghana Water Company, Ni Abe Abe, reacted. The community is partly to be blamed because uh, they had the network done without reference to GWCL. Now, after everything, they came back pleading. And of course, as a company with a mandate for portable water for the urban population, we cannot turn our eyes on them. And so we were compelled to do them that favor by connecting them onto our network. But we made it clear to them that since we were not part of the process, we know that the time will come, they will have challenges. He expressed concern about the blatant refusal by residents to cooperate with the company while laying pipelines in communities. For every demand and the kind of pipelines you need to use, so that as the community develops, if the pipelines they are having are very small, then definitely those who are closer will get, whilst those at the far end will not get. And so we are working closely with the assemblyman to see how best we can find some immediate solution to what is confronting them. But like I said, for the medium term, we are waiting on head office to support us with some funds so we can be able to do some upgrade. 
until a positive response from the head office of the Ghana Water Company. Residents will have to rely on their purification process. Zubaida Ismail, TV3, Chanshegu, Northern Region. Admission is brought to you by Star Ghana, UK Aid, Danida and the European Union.